Starduck has lined up here. Dignitas are going to have to finish their draft. Hey, there's Jarvan. Yeah. See, he doesn't have to go to, like, the crazy champions. These are just a little bit fringe. Jarvan right now is actually also on the rise. So good for team fighting. Uh, definitely can actually create terrain for Gnar to get Gnar ultimates on. Uh, if you Cataclysm while you have Fake God timing his rage for his Gnar, that can be a, a... Trying to defend here against a possible Raptor Steel. Yeah, predicting this invade very nicely. Dardic here, but again, there's no EQ combo, so instead it's just going to be a fight on for the Raptors. A full-on 4v4 for the Jungle Camp, but Afro finds two with the Pole Rise. The Saligo is the one that's roamed around. Jose Diodo, no flash, just Ghost. He's dead. <laughs> Base Cross invading Dardoch because of the Jungle Challenge. Uh, extra attention, so they go should be able to get out. Yeah, I'm zoomed back there, but he's gonna get hit up. We'll be forced to flash, so good work there from Jose to you. Going after the Scuttle Crab. Which one's which? They're both wearing pink skins, too. Afro going in again. Ooh, Dardoch, big damage on a Jose Diodo. There's the stun landing in from the trample, and Dardoch flashing in for the Q. The smite is actually maybe enough to save Jose Diodo, and now Neo trying to find oh. it aggressive with the Seraphine, but doesn't get it. A Shockwave finds another there for Palafox as he does move Dardoch in, but the ulti out of Saligo is going to save his teammate, but can he himself live as now he'll glide over the wall and indeed be safe as Diamond may be going to find more here. Afromu has led them towards the recalling Dardoch, mounting up on top. Johnson with the ulti is going to get the kills. The last auto does find that from me. Now Dardic moving back in, getting so aggressive, trying to find a trade kill. But it's just his life that he throws into the trash as Flyquest <laughs> pick up to. What about this Rift Trail then? Because they just chunked out Licorice really heavily. And he's sitting pretty low on resources as well. They have the early recall, though. If you look at the mini map, their bottom lane is arriving first. Seraphine a little bit slow, but trailing. Everybody spotted, though, by Dardoch using the plant, but Diamond has the angle. Dignitas looks like they want to force a full-on fight here. Need to wait for Seraphine, though, no, as there's the ulti there from Rel. Oriana does clip on with the shock, but there's Jose Diodo taking out Dardoch as Seraphine ulti over the wall. Charms on the three, Saliga moves in for the sweep, finds four with the scoop. And now Palafox about to transform, uh, Fake Lottery about to transform once again as Palafox will indeed fall down to Saligo and Dignitas. They set up the fight, they wait for Neo and they collect three as Johnson going to be the last one left. There's the triple kill that Saligo wanted and does collect. I think that's going to be the last of them. Maybe Fake God uh, goes down here once he transforms back into Mini. Nice slow. Ooh, crunch, but no follow up there because you're big nah, not Mini nah. But Licorice are going to dance back in. Diamond now looking for the dive. Mounts up. Fake God is going to get GP ulti, but he's safe. Dada hits W like that'll save his teammate, but he's <laughs> in over the wall instead as Neo's actually up here. This could be the extended ace potentially for Dignitas. As Licorice is going to fall. Afromu's going to CC up Diamond, and there's the fourth. That's going to be the fifth, and it's not going to be on the scoreboard, <laughs> but that is technically an ace. They've been pushing in some of these lanes, feeling pretty good overall. As this recall Lord. is going to be interrupted, but by who? <laughs> Aframu again trying to bait out Diamond, but Diamond's just going to walk away. Afro going to start the combo, though. Oh, he interrupts the W, actually. So now Neo going to keep working, but not a whole lot of damage without some help. Here's Jose Diodo in. Now Diamond, he's going to have to fight, but he's going to get Cataclysm there. Neo with the ulti in, does find the Thomas. Jose Diodo maybe went in a little too far, but Aframu is going to get out as everyone's TPing down to the bottom side. It's like Power Rangers moving in to kill the monster. Now Licorice <laughs> going to have to flash out of there as Fake God looking to go big knot under the tower. Dignitas are going to find oh! this kill. Surely there's a massive knot. Fires three into the wall. Empress Divide scoops them back in. Dignitas, one away, two away, excuse me, from claiming the eighth. It's just the two horses three times. Even with Neo and Afro not having big damage output, not landing that E initially onto Diamond, the it is just going to be watch your sides. And honestly, even if they don't get a flank, this Dignitas squad is so tanky, they can just go straight up the middle. Ooh, tries to strike break in there, but Diamond not going to be killed just yet. Now, Saligo going to make short work of the remaining health, perhaps, as jo Jose Diodo does move in there. Decent move back with a stun is good and not enough, unfortunately, Saligo. Just ulti so Zediodo now on a rampage with kill number four. Now it's easy for Dig. Just group up off these objectives, continue to force five on five. Uh, they've got plenty of options. Baron started up even on Scuttle Crab Vision here because there's not much FlyQuest can do about it. They have no smite, so it'd have to be an Orianna steal, uh, which if you let that happen um, in this situation, maybe you deserve it. <laughs> Battle Fox is heading over. Aframu and Fake God are on him. Fake God found the catch. Kaiser is going to be stunned into the wall, but Fake God just trying to play goalie here. Baron is low, and it should be oh. backed up. Indeed, it will. Dignitas going to collect it, but now Afro gets the stun onto Licorice, who's forced to orange out and split, and they do want to maximize the power of this Baron buff here. So just sieging for now, but Jose Diego going to rotate in as FlyQuest just want to fight 
that's uh, a 5v4 and Jose Diodo maybe going to start at Saligo. Such a good target. If you can get him, the damage is there, but he's going to be shielded up from his Q and maybe be okay. But no, Johnson's going to surf in and take him out of Seraphine. Now counter ults his Aphromu is in the middle of it all, but here comes Fake God. Power Fox is already dead and Diamond now in the middle of the enemy, but that's not where he wants to be. A great stun up by Afro is going to give Neo the kill on Kaiser, and now he's going to run back there and take out Licorice as he nabs the double kill and Dignitas, despite the great angle from the Hecarim. I like this from FlyQuest. It's more risky, but they're trying to find him while they're separated. Here goes Jose. Afro who knows what to do. Immediately kicks Rel out of there. That's going to stop, uh, sorry, Hecarim out of there. Rel's the other one. In the backside, waiting to follow up the initiation. Instead, it's Jose Diodo burning that goes for not much. Really nice uh, play for Afro to keep his carry alive. And now Dignitas, they're just going to start the Baron. The plan is going forth as TP in from Azir is going to make sure this Baron DPS is massive. They switch over to two Scryer orbs. So you see there's one available right now for Johnson and Licorice is walking over too. Oh, Afro is actually going to boot Diamond in as Fake with a massive no. Nah, there's driving over the top. It's the fight that Dig wanted, but Dardock, he's dead. That's not a good sign for your Baron attempt as Diamond going to fall off as well, but not dead just yet as Jose Diodo dives into the back line. But Afro finds another multi pole as there's the Shockwave. Will deny Neo and Saligo moving over, but Fake is hopping on heads and taking names there as Licorice going to be the next one. And they have chased Fly Quest back to their bases. How crazy would it be if Johnson stole it with a W, though? Kaisa's got an angle right now. I like how they're all hugging the back of the pit. They're like, okay, just don't let the W through. Now you can see him on the minions in the mid wave, too. Now they know where it would come from. Everybody can uh, breathe. Gonna look to break open mid. Still have bottom open, remember, but don't need to do extra work to expose that one. Fake God's gonna push through top and should be able to take that out. That was so much damage from, I assume, a demolished powered auto on that top side. But mid and hip's going to go down. Fake God's going to finish off that top and hip tower, and FlyQuest just kind of have to make their stand. Well, their base is crumbling around them. One inhibitor left. Once that goes down and you get the double stack super minions, it is lights out. So here we go. Jose's looking around. Diamond possibly could get a flash off. Saligo's far from both of them, though. So you see Saligo's positioning. I actually like it a lot. He's pushing up the minions while also staying away from the engage of FlyQuest. So now all that they have to do, they could honestly just stand here. With all the supers coming in and the Baron buff on it, they could just watch them. Yeah, way more where that came from, too. All three in hits are now down. They've still got Baron for a minute. Dead is Afro move. There's a... Afro beats. Afro Playing beats. the cowbell. <laughs> guiding, guiding the minions in. Afro loves his music, so it makes sense that he's popping the cowbell on the precipice of victory. Diamond has to try something, gets completely shut out by the dig support. He's going to die. The rest of them are going to dive in as Fake God's popping off. Into the backside he goes. Nas 2 in. The shockwave is nice, but not nice enough as Dignitas take out 3. Going to be looking for the Bud Light Ace. The Saligo moves on in, schmoozes on in, takes down Perfect, grabs the triple kill, and the celebrate by blowing up the enemy Nexus to pick up win number 5.